Hi there, it's Amir from Nerd my thoughts and spoilers of House of Dragons Season 2, Episode 7, The Red Sewing. So, in this episode, we, at the beginning, get um, the aftermath of what happened when the, the, the small folk were attacking the queens. Aemon, not a big fan of Aegon's mates who have become uh, king's guards and, and, and knights, decides to send a few of these motherfuckers to the wall as punishment for not defending their queen so well. I guess this is a way of getting rid of some of the dead wood and just to find some meaning and find someone to, to blame regarding what happened last week and also to get rid of um, Aegon's friends as far as Aemon's concerned so Aegon has less allies. Alison has a moment in this episode too. She's kind of lost you know, a, a, a rebel without a cause so to speak. Has no idea what to do with herself. So she decides to go to Kingswood to maybe find herself. Possibly even kill herself. Who knows. She takes one night with her. One night alone. That way there's less people to stop her from doing what she wants to do. This guy's a hulking man of, of course. He's a he's, he's a, uh, a, knight, a seasoned knight. So he will look after her and all of that. But um, what Alice is doing in the woods. Fuck no. She's like in water. Prouncing, prouncing around. You know. Got got that bitch face on her. Who gives a fuck? Now, one of the interesting things that happened earlier on in this episode is with House Tully. Now that young brat, he's not really a brat, is the leader of House Tully. Aemon, sorry, not Aemon, Damon can have an army now. He's at Harrenhal when all of this happens. Now, it was a really good moment and it's very hard to explain regarding some of the dialogue scenes that ended up with somebody getting beheaded. But basically, this young kid really held his own against Damon, kind of bitched about him, even though Damon's going on about being the king and all of that shit. But he needs the Tullys to align with the Blacks. At the same time, the uh, Blackwood uh, house has been a fawn in the side to some of the river folk. And so, in order for Damon to show um, that he gives a shit about what the River Folk want, and, the Tull and especially the Tullys, and have their allegiance, because the Tullys have basically sworn their allegiance to Rhaenyra, Damon executes the the Blackwood uh, guy. It was it was a really cool moment how all of that panned out. You can see it building up to something, and it was a, a really great scene, great dialogue, great culmination, fucking fantastic. Um, now a lot of these names are the same like is it, it Rhaenyra or something like that she's the young girl who I think is Corliss's um, granddaughter she's in this part of the world where she's kind of alone looking after Rhaenyra's kids and um, she's also trying to find um, Sheep Stealer this rogue dragon I do feel that the way they're making this storyline uh, 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 progress in front of our eyes is that she will end up eventually riding that particular dragon but I, I just it's such a minor storyline that I don't really give a fuck about it to tell you the truth but nevertheless let it happen I, I'm sure I'll be wooing where, when she does end up claiming sheep stealer now uh, dragons in this series is um, a significant thing but before I get onto that um, I want to talk about Aegon Targaryen now, Laris, he it was humiliated, you know, uh, in previous episodes by by Aemon when he tried to be hand of the king. Aemon wasn't going to let that happen. Now, Laris was Aemon at the picture when Laris first found out about dragons flying around King's Landing that, that were not part of the green team. Laris informed his colleagues not to let uh, Aemon know about this, not to worry him and all of that. But the reality is, he obviously, he wants Aemon at the picture in any way possible. And if Aemon's less prepared for things like dragons, then there's a good chance that he can be at the picture. At the same time, Laris is also helping Aegon Targaryen. Aegon obviously being burnt to fucking shreds and looking like his dad. Um, his late dad, that is. Um, is, is trying to recover from his wounds. The, the uh, maester is helping him. Laris is also trying to help him. He want, He's trying to to uh, fast track his recovery because if a Aegon does recover then Aemon is no longer the king or the prince regent or wherever the fucking title he's basically not in charge anymore so for, as far as Laris is concerned um, that is fu fundamental 
Corliss, he has uh, two bastard sons. One of them obviously has sea smoke. The other one, he's also kind of like getting involved with the family business, so to speak. Now, when it comes to his bastards as well as Corliss, they haven't really told each other, who, you know, who we are to each other, even though they know who they are to each other. But I think Corliss wants um, to promote his these sons because I don't think he has sons. And this is like, even though they're bastards, he can, you know, with a swipe of his hand, he can turn them into legitimate people and, and get their surnames changed. And obviously one of them is now riding Sea Smoke. And I do forget the beginning of this episode regarding um, Sea uh, that first, that bastard son and, and Rhaenyra when they were communicating to each other at the beach when Rhaenyra saw Sea Smoke being ridden by a new rider. This guy basically pledges his allegiance to Rhaenyra because you know he's, he's a fucking dragon rider now and he wants to be part of the team that are with dragons and his dad is obviously the hand of the king so yeah um sorry the hand of the queen so yeah he's happy to be on that on on, the, on team black now Rhaenyra has got her minions to go to King's Landing and start speaking to the people there the town folk spread gossip and rumors that if you go to Dragonstone and you believe you are personally got uh, Targaryen Valerian blood in you, and you will be allowed to be you know to ride a dragon, uh, and be tested to ride the dragon, and if you if you pass, then you're joining the crew. <clears throat> this rumor spreads around like wildfire, and a whole bunch of white-haired town folk all start heading towards uh, Dragonstone. Just serious, Rhaenyra's uh, son. Is not happy with this, you know, with all these fucking bastards literally are coming over, you know, to um, to join this royal family. But Rhaenyra has no issue with this, saying that yeah, this will be our, our army of bastards, and she's totally cool with that. And you know, Jaceres also has to be reminded that he himself is a fucking bastard as well. If you remember, he's the son of that that guard. Uh, so yeah, uh, he's a bit concerned about possibly his place in. In, in the lineage because he is a bastard and if Rhaenyra does become queen then it doesn't necessarily mean that he will become king if people c claim that he's not uh, a legitimate heir um, and also regarding people who are not happy with all these bastards you know uh, becoming dragon riders uh, are the dragon keepers the, those guys with those sticks who speak in Valerian you know talking to the dragons telling them to calm the fuck down they believe that what Rhaenyra is doing is breaking with tradition. So they're taking their stick and going home and quitting their fucking job. A job that's been given to them, you know, through generations. Because they're not happy with the traditions that Rhaenyra has broken. So Rhaenyra is the person in charge of the dragons now. And she basically tells these town folks who have arrived at Dragonstone. That look, a lot of you guys are gonna might die. And if you do end up being a dragon rider, you'll be obviously part of this crew. But not all of you are going to be dragon riders. Now, I don't think these people really truly understood what uh, what was in for them. And plus, their lives are so fucking shit. I think they were willing to take the chance of being a dragon rider, uh, so that they can, you know, be have titles and have have land and privileges and money. So uh, they they all take the plunge, and we go into the dragon cave, and then the first dragon comes out. And then all these uh, bastard Targaryens with their white hair start, you know, approaching the dragon, and then the fucking dragon starts turning them all, all of these motherfuckers into toast. Um, people like Hugh, I think, it, look, his name is not Hugh Hefner. He's Hugh something or other, but I forgot his surname, so I'm going to be calling him Hugh Hefner. And there's another guy called Alf Whitewood. Now these are two poor people we have been following. You know, in these last episodes, so we know that these motherfuckers are going to be dragon riders, and we see how that happens. First of all, regarding Hugh Hefner, he um, he uh, survived being burnt by the initial dragon, who's burning everybody else, and then that dragon sees Hugh and claims Hugh as his his dragon rider. The other guy, Elf, he's hightailed it around the caves and ends up at a different different part of the cave where another dragon's there. Um, he's scared to death and thinks he's going to die but that dragon claims him and this is the thing because this is something that Rhaenyra missed because when it came to dragons she was offering people to the dragons but what she was only doing was offering food 
you know, or somebody for these dragons to fuck with. She should remember how these dragons operate. But when it came to the other two she saw earlier at the beginning of this episode, the dragons claim you, not the other way around. And uh, these dragons also claim these two poor folks, not the other way around. So um, that's what happened. And some nice moments, you know, once you saw all of that happen. And then next, you know, one of these dragons ends up flying over King's Landing. Eamon sees this shit and decides to get on his beast of a dragon and starts following it. And he ends up following the dragon back to Dragonstone. But it's all a ruse because R Rhaenyra is there now with not only her dragons, but her dragon riders because she's got a shit ton of dragons and she's got riders now as well. And even though uh, Eamon's dragon is bigger, he can't take on you know several dragons at once. And so he turns around and then there's Rhaenyra at Dragonstone looking at his ha uh, half-brother turning around saying, come at me, bro. You know, with that you know, scorn look on her face. Like, yeah, I, you, know, you don't want to fuck with this. And that's how that episode ends with her surrounded by her army of fucking dragons and her new dragon riders. And it'll be interesting to see next week what happens. Are we going to have another battle of dragons? And it'll be cool to see where these poor folks stand now in the, in the sort of line and how they feel because they've been elevated in status from just being common folk being bastards to now being dragon riders it's gonna be really cool to see you know the elevation of these people and how they take it and stuff like that and will they play ball you know maybe they might not now they've got a fucking dragon they might say you know fuck you Rhaenyra you know I'm gonna take my dragon and do what the fuck I want and maybe rule my own fucking little plot of land and I'll have this dragon and nobody will fuck with me and people will worship me who knows that could happen as well regardless great episode it's a shame there's only eight episodes this season i know the show has a massive budget and stuff but this is game of thrones this is house of dragon this shit should be really fucking popular and this series is fantastic i'm having a great time i give this episode a nine out of ten i can't wait for next week it's a shame that these shows only come out once every two years i'm not getting any fucking younger i'm gonna be in my 50s by the time the fucking season ends and shit like that this is ridiculous you know make this shit once a fucking year like it used to be back in the day when they came to television shows even the earlier series of game of thrones was once every fucking year and then the latter uh, uh, seasons came out every two years for some bizarre reason i hate that shit i want a fucking season every fucking year every season to so bring that fucking shit back enough swearing from me let me know what you think of this episode don't forget to like share subscribe to nerd tube we're the greatest social media channel you never heard over on a variety of different platforms including tickety talk and if you've already forgotten the name's nerd tube remember it